Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you hear me well. Uh, so my name is Olesia and I'm a project manager for the Vitalas Earth International. And the session will be about Vitalas Earth and uh, it's 10 years of experience. So let's start. Uh, first, let's have a little bit of um, reminder, recap, what is uh, actually Vitalas Earth. Uh, so it's an annual competition um, devoted to a picture and a natural, a natural heritage sites. And it's goal to draw attention to protected areas and to create a database of free photos of all natural heritage sites and to spread awareness about uh, nature protection. So also it's a second biggest Wikimedia photo contest after Wikilove's monuments. And uh, at the international level, it's coordinated by a team mostly from Ukraine, uh, but uh, it's locally conducted by teams from uh, 40 plus countries. So each year uh, it's different number of countries, of course. And uh, it to talk about um, a little bit international organizing team. Uh, this year and mostly uh, we have five people in the core team. Uh, mostly from, from Ukraine and uh, this year we have um, a new thing, let's say, uh, we have also uh, five international regional ambassadors, uh, mostly for French, Spanish uh, and Arabic uh, regions. Uh, so this year we decided to make this, um, to actually um, make new thing and uh, to invite uh, more people, more support, uh, bigger support team to uh, our international team um, to have more uh, close connections with the community, with local teams um, to help them better, faster and um, mostly to have more translations uh, for, for the contest. Mm. And now a little bit about chronology of the contest. Uh, just to recap, and uh, so in 2013, uh, actually the contest was founded in Ukraine, and in the next year it became an international. So 16 countries participants were at first time. Uh, in 2015, uh, over 100,000 photos uh, were submitted in international contest. And also in the next year, um, it was added a new nomination, um, which is called uh, UNESCO Biosphere Resource. And in 2017, it was the biggest number of uploads um, during uh, those years. Uh, it was uh, over um, 129,000 images. Um, so in 2020, the contest uh, was successfully held after the first year of pandemic, after the hard year. And in the next year, um, for the first time, it was division into two nominations in the international contest. Uh, it was macro and let's end escapes. And we have this uh, division uh, till now, of course, locally uh, countries can have their um, nominations, but uh, in, on the international level, um, the judges also uh, evaluating pictures by this um, by the division. So uh, also the last year, the contest passed for the 10th time uh, and, uh, it, and it was also a record number of countries participants, uh, so it was uh, 39. And this year, uh, in 2023, uh, we also have a record number of countries participants and territories, it's uh, 53. Uh, so it's quite a good result. Um, let's recap uh, what we have done during uh, 10 years of Wikilos years and what actually was happening. Uh, so during this just on year, 10 years, uh, 88 countries and territories have joined uh, to the contest. Um, we have um, more than um, 78,000 uh, applaud uh, applauders participated and uh, more than um, 
eighty seven hundred thousand uploaders uh, were uploads were submitted, and from this number we have uh, two hundred thousand images that were used in the wikis after it. Uh, of course, this number should increase, uh, and we uh, also have a special nomination human rights environment. I will tell uh, about it a little bit in the next slides. And of course, division into categories, uh, macro and landscapes, um, which are already done. And here you can see uh, images, uh, top 20 win images uh, from the previous year on the international level. Um, Yes, I hope a lot of you already saw uh, those pictures. And yes, the year passes re really uh, fast, and we will have a new top uh, images uh, already very soon. Uh, so, a little bit about human rights and environment special nomination. Um, actually, what is it? Um, Wikilove's ears um, again support the, initi the initiative Wiki for Human Rights, which partners with the Wikimedia Foundation and the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. And basically, it's called to raise awareness of nature protection and human impact of, of nature. And so when we're talking about protecting the environment, we also protect the fundamental human rights we all have. Um, and the special nomination photos could be used to illustrate as well Wikipedia articles, news media, and other materials uh, to better communicate the reliance of human on the environment. And uh, if for the main contest uh, we accept photos only from um, protected territories, protected areas, so for the special nomination uh, we accept photos from any place in the world which actually uh, suits the criteria. Uh, and uh, also this year we have a um, new thing uh, that we also can accept uh, photos from all, all, the all over the world. Um, and uh, it, it doesn't matter if your country participating in the main contest or no, you still can upload your photos for, um, this, for this special nomination and uh, contribute to um, spreading awareness about um, human impacts on nature. And this, those are photos from the previous year, also top five photos, and they all are from Germany. Uh, also the previous year, only two countries were participating in this special nomination, Portugal and Germany, and uh, as a result, we have uh, those pictures. Uh, so, uh, let's talk a little bit about contest in this year. Uh, so, so as I told before, um, this year we have uh, 53 countries and territories participants, and uh, 11 countries that were jo that joined for the first time um, to the Vikilos Earth. Um, and we have so far, so far we have. Um, more than uh, 2,000 uploaders and uh, more than 60,000 uh, uploads. Um, actually, it's not the end of the contest, but it's almost the end. Um, uh, we have like also top countries with most images so far. It's Germany, Wales, and Ukraine. And uh, main timeline of the contest uh, is from May uh, till July. And uh, but some countries belong to August. That's why I told that it's um, not the end of the uh, contest, but it's the end of the uh, main uh, main stage uh, of the Vikilos years uh, among local, local teams. Uh, because most of the countries already finished their local contest um, in the end of July. And now we have uh, just a few countries that uh, prolong to August. So. Uh, now uh, in the active stage of submitting local winning images uh, from local teams uh, to the international level and have submissions so far. And expected month of the final results is uh, November. 
And also the thing, um, a small announcement that we are searching for jurors for this year evaluation of the images. Um, so if you are eager to join, uh, feel free to contact us in this email. Uh, if you feel that you want to uh, be part of Pickles Earth this year as a um, juror, you want to evaluate pictures, which will be um, then top 20 images. Um, so you can contact us. Okay, and uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, some plans for the next year, plans for developing the contest. Uh, now we are planning to uh, create uh, some uh, Wikilos Earth Materials Hub, so it will uh, include there uh, some materials, video uh, or uh, text instructions for uh, local teams or participants uh, of how to actually um, or upload photo or um, uh, work with the um, uh, with the list of protected areas or some other things. So it will be short, uh, clear instructions for uh, people who need to find a fast, fast answer um, for their question while they're uploading or photos or uh, making the contest. Uh, also, the next thing it's uh, engagement with community. Uh, we want to develop it uh, and to engage uh, to connect more with local teams, uh, with participants and in general with community uh, to also promote the contest more. Um, as well, engage bigger support system. As I told before, uh, this year we have um, some ambassadors that are working with local teams and promoting contest in the exact regions. And uh, it's only the beginning, so we want to um, include more languages and more people as support to our team and to spread awareness about the contest more. Uh, so this year we started and it works well. Um, let's hope um, it will be even better for the next years. Uh, and also uh, working on special nomination development and categories expansion. Uh, so. Um, maybe to add uh, more categories, not only uh, macro and landscapes, but uh, some more uh, uh, categories that can be uh, also interesting and useful as for participants and for local teams as well, uh, and uh, to be visible for uh, on the international level. And of course, some um, small uh, developments like. Um, request that, that we, have, we are having uh, from the local teams and uh, something uh, which should be uh, developed. Okay, and uh, also um, we are uh, gathered a little bit of perspective from the local teams and some of the local teams decided to share um, actually of their experience how the contest uh, was uh, held and uh, what their thoughts about it. Uh, so let's uh, check and watch it.
Okay, but um, the no video was not uh, hearable. Okay, yeah, I have, we have one more. Um, I hope it will work. It opens the door for a lot of opportunities that could help the movement in the future. Mabalos. Okay, so it was the problems with the sound. Should I um, click the video again with the sound? Yes, yes, I will reply it again. Um, Okay, so the first video, one second, sorry. Wiki of Health has helped us to highlight Burundi's natural heritage site through photos of the elements of the sites. The competition took us through several of Burundi's protected sites to shoot photos to share with the world on Wikimedia Commons. We have discovered the importance of the photos we upload on Wikimedia, being to enrich Wikimedia Commons, including Wikipedia articles. Hi everyone, my name is Anton, I am the Programs Coordinator for Wikimedia Ukraine and for the past four years I've been supporting Wikivos Earth in Ukraine. Since 2013 we formed a huge contest community and gathered close to 120,000 photos of Ukrainian nature area. Uh, last year we had to cancel the photo contest for security reasons because of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine. Uh, but we did continue our work. For example, we organized a month-long online campaign to illustrate Wikipedia and Wikidata with photos submitted to the contest previously. And as, as a result, more than 700 uh, articles and 500 Wikidata items were illustrated. 
Uh, the war is still ongoing, but thankfully we've been able to gather a great team and both uh, resume the photo contest this year. And despite security restrictions, we've got 4,600 photos from 120 participants and therefore we uh, illustrated some wonderful natural areas of Ukraine for the first time. We are now working to check submissions and to identify winners and we will be excited to share results with the global community in the coming months. Okay, uh, so also the some other countries uh, sharing that they are very um, happy to participate in their contest um, went well but the previous year and also this year uh, you can quickly uh, check it on the slide um, and it's uh, actually great results uh, we will gather more uh, feedback from um, other local teams uh, so how can you join the shortly uh, vehicles years in the next year uh, as an organizer to organize the contest in your country and also as an ambassador or volunteer to help international organizing team to coordinate the contest as a jury to help international organizing team to select the best of images and of course as the participant to upload your unique images and uh, win a prize. Uh, you can also follow our social media channels here um, and Yes, maybe you have any questions or suggestions for development of the contest. Um, as far as I know, uh, we are, uh, don't have any more time, so you can um, text it uh, in the chat or to me or reach out to um, Anton, uh, who is also from um, Wikimedia Ukraine here and um, in person. And as well, um, Thank you so much for attention, love ears, take pictures and stay tuned for the final results in November and also for in-person attendees. Um, there are uh, souvenirs um, in this room, you can take it if you want and share in your community. Um, thank you so much for attention.